fish just chased me up 10, 15 feet here. I'm try to drop it back past him. He's still interested, following it down. Come on. He's going back to bottom on me. Come on. He's got two of them in there. One real good mark right now. One real nice mark. Chasing me to the bottom. There he is. Nice. That fish came up and chased me up from the bottom. I've got the tantrum on here, 100 gram tantrum. That is finally a committing fish that actually just came up and crushed that bait. I started reeling away from it as fast as I could. And that was just so much fun. All right, this is a heavy fish. Got the 48 inch big ticket here by Timber. And this rod actually is really, really nice. It fights fish so well, just balanced properly. And uh, man, it just really, really keeps these fish pinned too with these barbless hooks. This is a big fish. This is a pretty good fish. This fish is actually just dogging it. That's why you can tell it's a big fish just by the way this fish is fighting. It's super heavy. This is a heavy rod and all this fish wants to do is go straight to the bottom. This is going to be a good fish. I cannot wait to see this thing. After guiding so many days, guiding so many big fish, I finally get a chance to get out here on my own. Let's start making some progress on this fish. There we go, he's getting up here. She's getting close here. You want help landing him or do you I'll be able to get it. it? Oh god. Nice. Coming up here. Look at that! Yes! <laughs> oh Check goodness. that out. On the tantrum, this fish came up and chased it. Barely hooked. I've got one hook in the side of its mouth there. Look at that. That is awesome. Such an awesome fish for the first fish of the day for me too. That is unbelievable. <laughs> and three quarters. Awesome. This fish is going to go right away. There he goes. On the big tantrum? Yes, the big tantrum. Nice. That was awesome. Were you filming? Yeah. Um, it's just awesome to be able to come out here on my own time when we're not guiding. I just came off of like seven days straight of guiding and uh, to catch a fish like that is unbelievable. Uh, the film crew from Huntfish Manitoba is up here, Marcel. So I called him over. They're just in a tent a couple hundred meters below us. And he was able to come over here and get some footage for the lodge. Such an awesome fish. Just giant lake trout are just unbelievable. So much fun, amazing fish to chase. They're just, if you haven't done it, you've got to get out and chase giant lake trout. It is just unreal. Some of the best fishing I've ever seen anywhere too in uh, through the ice is here at Baker's and Earl's Lodge. Just ridiculous ice fishing. The amount of giant fish we pull out of the ice here is is just unreal. I can't say it enough. It's just the fishing here in the winter is just awesome. I mean you just don't get that other places. Well I've been putting in the time all day and uh, you know haven't been putting in the time either. Been all over the place. Uh, visiting some other huts and stuff, but uh, hey, that is the first fish for me today. I broke off on something big earlier, unfortunately, uh, didn't get to see it, but uh, man, that just made up for it. That was a 38 and three quarter inch lake trout um, on the tantrum. That fish followed up like 20 feet, and once that fish struck, I just knew it was a big fish. You can just tell right away these big lake trout what they want to do is just dig right to the bottom and they don't, uh, you know, don't do any crazy head shaking or flipping around like the little ones do. They just dog to the bottom and then big slow head shakes if they give you any. So knew right away that was a big fish. And man, this rod just is awesome. The timber big ticket wasn't a super long fight. That fish is going to stay 
super healthy you know that fish took off strong it uh you know we weren't dogging that fish for a 45 minute fight or anything like that that was you know maybe maybe 10 minutes so that's a good thing about having a, a, a good proper rod for the type of fish you're fishing you're actually doing better for the fishery than uh you could have ever imagined so here's the bait i was using the uh frosty clownfish i believe it's called uh frostbite tantrum 100 100 size and uh yeah, it's got lots of rattles in it, but this color, just anything white like that, is really good for lake trout. It just resembles the ciscos they eat, it resembles white fish, and uh, you know, a bunch of other types of bait fish, and white is just always a staple for lake trout. Can't go wrong with white, but uh, man, that bait sealed the deal. That fish chased it around a little bit, and then uh, I started pulling away from it pretty fast, and it just darted up and smashed it. So much fun, that, uh, that giant, giant, giant bite like that. So one thing I want to emphasize with this today is we've literally been fishing the same spot. You know, we stuck it out here and that is key to catching giant lake trout is putting your time in it in, on a spot that has fish. Um, it is just so key. And I, I see that problem so many times. A lot of people will just get discouraged in a spot with lake trout, but uh, they'll move off it right away. They, you know, they're not marking, they're not, uh, not catching anything. As long as you're seeing some fish, you know, especially if you're, if you're really marking, you want to stay there, but uh, you just stick it out. It pays off all the time with lake trout fishing. Uh, it It's just a huge mistake just moving around, hole hopping and uh, changing locations constantly. You're eating more time up in your day, especially ice fishing. You're just, you know, you're burning an hour here, about an hour there, half hour there, depending on your move distance and that. And, uh, you know, you just need to put the time in on the same spot and fish it hard and it will pay off for you eventually. There's going to be a big fish that cruises in through that area. As long as you're on a good productive piece of structure. I mean, don't, don't just pick a random spot on the lake and set up and put your time in there. That's not going to work for you. As long as you are on a piece of structure that you know holds quality fish and holds lake trout, your time in on that spot is what's going to catch you a fish. You are literally just getting in front of a big fish and presenting the right bait and doing the right things. And that is going to help you so much in catching giant lake trout. Just, you gotta put your time in on the spots to get them. You can sit there for one day, you can sit there for two days and day three, there's your big bite, there's your big fish. That That is what happens, it happens too much. Everybody who moves around tends to not catch as many big fish. Um, I mean, it, it can happen for sure, it's fishing. Pretty much anything can happen, but uh, people who put their time in on those spots, you know, a good example of the last few days, some guys fished uh, a well-known reef there. The first first day there, they had a pretty slow day, and I think they got seven or eight fish, which actually isn't terrible for lake trout fishing, really. Um, second day, they did really good on numbers. They, sh they caught like 20-something fish. And then third day, they got that big bite. They got the 43. They got it uh, topside, landed it, you know, beautiful fish, awesome pictures, and uh, yeah, day three at the same spot. You know, first day they weren't really marking. It, a lot of people would have been, you know, you know what, let's get out of here, let's change spots. But, uh, you know, they stuck it out. Day number two, they caught the numbers there. And when you're catching those numbers, you know you're in a spot where fish frequent. There's going to be a big fish that cruises through eventually. So they stuck it out and that produced a good fish for them. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm seeing. That's what we did here today. We stuck it out and it put a good fish fishing on the camera for me and uh yeah it's just one of the biggest things try not to move as much as possible as long as you are on a good productive fishing spot for lake trout it's one of the best things you can do is just stick it out and stay on that spot as long as it's a good fishing spot for lake trout